and Scribes Creative Workshop presents... Happy Land! Featuring Pappy Druid in his house! Did you ever want to paint? Did you ever want to draw? Did you ever want to recreate anything at all? Well, now you can in Pappy Land. That's where we are today. Where anything can happen. Cause Pappy Druid that way. Pappy, Pappy Druid. We do Pappy Land. And you. Wow! What is that sound? We don't know, Pappy. That's right. That sound's been ringing in my ears for the last hour. Thank goodness you're here, Sonny. Don't you know what time it is? I sure do, Elmer. What? It's time to find out where that noise is coming from. Why, it's right outside the much more door, Grandsonny. Whew, I think someone needs much more practice, Grandpappy. <laughs> Let's check it out. Come on, boys and girls. Keep trying, Dover Bug. You know what they say, practice makes perfect. Donkey Dan. Yeehaw, hello, Pappy. What is that instrument, and who's trying to play it? Well, everybody was complaining about the racket, so I told... Hi, Doodle Bob. No, oh, hi, Pappy. Say, that's some unusual music you're making. I know, Pappy. I've been practicing and practicing, but I just can't make good music. Oh, and today's my recital. Oh, my doodle dad and mommy, plus my baby doodle sister, are coming to hear me play. And I just can't play anything right. Oh. Oh, boy. Now, now, doodle bug. Don't make a mountain out of a mohill. I know Singer Song Sam is a good teacher. Yes, he is. And Doodlebug is very talented, Pappy. With his six arms, he can play notes <laughs> all up and down the sax. Well, so what's the problem? Doodlebug just doesn't have any confidence he can play well. No, I can't. I just can't. Yes, you can. Uh, just tell yourself. I can do it. To play well, you need practice and confidence. Uh, that gives me an idea for a drawing that just might help you, Doodlebug. Okay. Right. Come on out and watch, and I think you'll learn something to help you with your big recital. Are you ready, girls and boys? If not, now is the time to get your pencils, crayons, or markers because we're going to draw a special picture of a mole and a mountain that's in front of him. Did you say mole, Pappy? <laughs> They're my cousins. Hi, Chucky. How you doing? That's right. Uh, they are your cousins. Hey, I have an idea. Let's make this drawing real special. Let's draw a woodchuck like you, Chucky. Did you say woodchuck, <laughs> Pappy? You're right. We are special. Okay, let's get started. Hey there, Donkey Dan, Doodle Buckster, Chucky, Pappy. Uh, what's going on? Hi, Louie. Hi, Louie. Hi, Chucky. Hi, fellas. We're about to draw a picture for Doodle Bug. Oh, you're going to do a doodle. Are you going to sing at the same time? <laughs> Not quite, Louie. I'm drawing a picture to help Doodle Bug so he can make music. Ooh, 
bella aria. You know how much I love music. Louie, please let Pappy draw. So sorry, Chucky, but everyone knows anything can happen in Pappyland. Okay, fellas, that's enough. Let's get drawing. I'm going to begin by drawing the woodchuck right over here, and then right next to it, a large mountain. And I'll start with the woodchuck's face. So let's draw a shape just like this. Bring that around. There we go. Just like that. Now let's put two eyes. One circle and another circle next to it. And we'll put one little circle there and another one right inside the other circle. Those are his two eyes. Now we'll draw his nose. And we'll put that right there. Now let's draw the little woodchuck's mouth. We're going to do a curved line, just like that. And another one right there. And a small tooth. That's his little tooth right there. <laughs> All righty. And one ear there. And a small ear right there. Now let's draw his body. And that's just a curved line. Bring it around. And do a looping line there. And another looping line. Those are his toes. And bring that line around and stop. Now we'll draw two paws. So let's begin right here and bring that line around and again here's three little fingers and a looping line there another one and bring that around and stop right there all righty let's draw his tummy which is a curved line starting right here bring that line around now let's draw his other leg behind his tummy there. So let's just put a curved line, stop, and bring this line over and loop it around. You see that? And we'll do the same thing again and again. There we go. Now I like to put a little tail on the woodchuck. So let's just put a curved line right there. And we'll do another one right behind it. So let's just put one right there, like that. Very nice. Now let's draw this big mountain next to our woodchuck. And we'll start by drawing, oh, we'll just put a curved line like that. Now let's draw the mountain, bring that line up, and bring it upward and upward to the top of the mountain. Now let's go back down the mountain, like that. Bring it down, and over, and stop right there. Now let's add some more lines to our mountain, like this. Just to show some bumpy rocks. So we'll put a line right there, a curve line. And just, you can make your mount look any way you'd like. You don't have to draw it exactly like Pappy was drawing it. Because I like it when you use your imagination. Alrighty, and just put a curve line there. And another line there. And a little line there. This just makes the mountain look kind of bumpy and rocky. And let's just put a curved line there. And another one right there. And there we go. We'll put one there. And we'll bring that line down there. And another one there. And well, it's looking pretty good. Let's just put the other, a couple more lines there, 
And there. That finishes our drawing. Could I please have a closer look, Peppy? Yes, I think you should, Doodlebug. Okay. Picture, do your stuff. <laughs> Look how he just dug right through that big mountain. That's yeah. right, Chucky. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah. I don't know what it means, but <laughs> it is cool. <laughs> well, gotta go. My magnificent macaroni Ooh, is just about good. ready. Well, ciao. I'll see you, Turtle Wolf. Yeah, Turtle Wolf. <laughs> Let me take a look here. Yeah, hey, what do you think? Yeah? I think I get it. Oh, good. Could you show that? Yeah? I certainly will, little uh, bud. Picture, do your stuff again. That's right, Doodlebug. Does it mean anything to you? Yes! I can do it! I've done my practicing. I'm ready to play! Yes, sir. All righty. Hey, would you guys like to hear a little sneak preview sure. of my recital song? Yes. Here goes. Okay. <laughs> Wow, that's quite an improvement, Doodlebug. Thank you. Now let's get Sing a Song to join us. All right. I'm right here, so let's sing it. To get you where you want to go Just get started, start it slow To get you where you want to go Just get started, then you'll know To get you where you want to go Just get started, let it show You can do the loo do it You can do the loo do it You can do the loo do it Do it by and by <laughs> Cool! <laughs> wow, that was great! Yeehaw. Yeah, great, Doodlebug! Your parents and baby sister should love your recital music now, Doodlebug. Well, that's not all they'd love, Peppy Druid. Being from 
the Doodle family. They'd love it if I could stuff you with an undoable doodle. Here goes. <laughs> he doesn't ever give up, does he? Pencil shrink. Here, Pappy. Can you doodle do it? <laughs> yeah. Hmm, I see something. Uh, watch, Doodlebug. Uh, you see a watch? Where? No, no, Doodlebug. Watch while I draw this. Oh, okay. Oh. I wonder what he's doing. <laughs> Think you're gonna stump me, huh? Oh, boy. It's always the first time. There you go, Doodlebug. What? Of my doodle! How do you doodle do it, Peppy Drew it? Practice, Doodlebug, practice. <laughs> now get back to practicing your saxophone so you're all ready for that recital. All right. <laughs> well, gotta go now, back to the cabin. Pencil, grow. <whistles> Bye, Peppy. Hee haw. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Yeah. Uh, uh, gee. Uh, c can I stay and listen, Doodlebug? Well, sure, if you want to. Hey, I just had to come back after having my macaroni. That was a good music you were making. Just to think, a song guy and a song bug. It has possibilities. Uh, are you looking for a manager? Yeah, Doodlebug. Well, I could be one of your roadies. Mm -hmm. or, or, or your water chuck. Yeah. Or I could get uh, your, your autographs in order for you. And I can uh, represent you. Hi, gang. Did you hear the music? Yes, Pappy. And thanks for changing the station. <laughs> that wasn't the radio, Lily. That was Doodlebug. Playing before and after. He just had to believe he could do it to play his best. You know, Pap, there have been great bug musicians over the years. Remember the Beatles? Maybe Doodlebug needs a manager. With talent like that, we could hit it big. Oh, Almer, I think Doodlebug is happy with his family right here in Happyland, doing doodles and playing the saxophone. Yeah, I guess you're right, Sonny. I mean, even if we had a deal, I wouldn't know what hand to shake. <laughs> I see your point, Elmer. <laughs> well, kids, it's time to color the picture we drew. So get your crayons or your markers, or just watch and listen to Doodlebug play music while we color. I think I'll start out with this color. It's a very nice color. To our mountain here. And... It's a big mountain, isn't it, boys and girls? Look at that. It goes way up high, comes to a point, and then goes right back down, like so. Very good. Doodlebug didn't believe he could ever play the saxophone. Do you remember what helped him out? That's right. He had to practice and stick to it. What else? He had to believe in himself. That's right. You know, boys and girls, it's great to see how much you're always improving on your drawing and coloring. That tells me you've been practicing and believing in yourself that you can do it, just like Doodlebug. All right. And I think I'll take a little yellow and color in our little woodchuck here. Yes. Yeah, that looks very nice. And just add a little yellow here on our mountain. Like that. Now I think I'll just take my brown crayon I'm going to shade the side of the mountain like that. Just to give it some shape. See that? There we go. And we'll come back down. And we'll keep 
just that helps to give it some shape and make our mountain look kind of three-dimensional like it's almost real you see that it gives it some lights and darks and that's what gives it shape very nice and then we'll just kind of go over that like that and a little yellow over the top now I think I'll take my brown crayon and just kind of go over the woodchuck with this color right over the yellow like that now I'm going to take some orange and go right over the woodchuck again and that'll give them a nice bright golden yellowish brown color you see that and there we go Feel free to mix colors and have fun. Experiment and try different things when you're coloring. And that's what makes coloring and drawing a challenge. When you try those different things and experiment with different colors and ideas. Very nice. Now I'll take this color here and just color in the woodchuck's nose like that. That looks pretty good. Now I think I'll add my own ideas and this is where you can add your own ideas to. Let's put a cloud right here. Look at that. And another little one right over here. You can even put birds in the sky if you'd like. And I'll just put a little shadow there. And a little shadow there. And a little there. And a little bit on this little cloud here. And that helps to make it look puffy and soft, the way a cloud should look. And we'll just indicate oh, some grass over here like that. And we'll just, there we go. Nice. That about does it. Wasn't that fun? Let's see your coloring, girls and boys. Ah, excellent. Definitely Hall of Frames material. Yeah, nice work, boys and girls. Any of you need a manager? <laughs> oh, Almer, they don't need a manager. They do great on their own. Let me show you what I mean. What do you say, kids? Let's go to the Hall of Frame. <laughs> More incredible drawings come here every day. Let's take a look at some of the new ones.
say great? I'd like to see your drawing in the Hall of Frames, too. If you want, just send your creation to me, Pepe Drew It, at the address at the end of the show. And be sure to include your name, address, and age. Hey, Sonny, don't you know what time it is? Yikes, gotta go. What? Oh, my, it's quarter to orange already? Gotta skedaddle. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, boys and girls. It's always great when you come to visit. And that means you, Kayla, and Bradley, and Emery, and Samantha, and you too, Christopher, and Carlos, and thanks to the rest of you. Oh, and if you're taking lessons to learn to play a musical instrument, uh, like Doodlebug, keep practicing. And remember, uh, you can do it. <laughs> Even you, Elmer. Elmer? Hmm. Gone to the recital? <laughs> Even Elmer likes good music. I think I'll join him. Bye, everyone. See you next time. Bye, Bye Pappy. So long. Bye-bye, Pappy. Did you ever want to paint? Did you ever want to draw? Did you ever want to recreate anything at all? Well, now you can in Pappy Land. That's where we are today. Where anything can happen. Cause Happy do it that way. Happy, Happy do it. We do Happy Land. And you Send your drawings to me, Pappy Do It, PO Box 5004, Syracuse, New York, 13220. And don't forget to visit the Pappy Land website for more fun.